Always carry the microscope with both hands, one holding the arm and one under the base. Walk, don't run when carrying the microscope. Check that the bench is clean and dry. Place the microscope down gently towards the centre of the bench to reduce the risk of knocking it off. Be careful not to bang or drop the microscope. This can damage the microscope, particularly the lenses. Avoid touching the lenses because this will make them dirty and it will make your images blurry. If you think the lenses need cleaning, ask your teacher to show you how. Unwind the cord and plug the microscope into the power point. Find the on off switch. It's usually at the back or side of the base. Every time you use the microscope, always follow the low to high rule. Start by selecting the lowest power objective lens and later zoom in by working your way up. The lowest power objective lens is the smallest objective lens and is usually marked with a four. Here's the diaphragm. Opening it lets more light in and closing it will make the image darker. Use the lever to adjust it so that a medium amount of light passes through the hole in the stage. You can readjust the light later to improve the image. Remember, the brightest light doesn't necessarily give the best image. Here's a slide. Take a close look at it and find the specimen. Put the slide on the stage so the specimen is right in the centre of the hole in the stage where the light comes through. Then clamp the slide in place. Look from the side while you turn the larger coarse focus knob to move the stage up to its highest position, close to, but not touching, the objective lens. It's important to look from the side so you don't risk smashing the slide or the objective lens by going too far. Now you can look through the eyepiece and slowly turn the coarse focus knob in the opposite direction to focus on the specimen. If you turn the knob too quickly, you might miss the moment when the specimen's in focus. Once the specimen is roughly in focus, you can use the smaller fine focus knob to get a sharp image. Before zooming in to the next objective lens, make sure that the specimen is exactly in the centre of the field of view. Many microscopes have a small needle you can see which shows you exactly where to move a specimen so it's in the centre. This will help you to zoom in on the part you want to see. Then follow the low to high rule and move to the next highest objective lens, 10. Your specimen should be nearly in focus and you should only need to adjust with the fine focus knob. You might also notice that the image gets darker. If it does, you can open the diaphragm to let a bit more light through. Do not move the stage down before you change to the next objective lens because you'll be out of focus and will have to start all over again. Again, centre the specimen and you're ready to move to the highest power objective lens, 40. When you've finished using the microscope, remove the slide and rotate the lowest power lens in place. Turn off the microscope and unplug it from the power source. Check that the stage is clean and dry. Wipe it with a cloth if necessary. Wrap up the cord and carefully return the microscope as you found it, carrying it with both hands. Return pre-prepared slides to your teacher. Your teacher will tell you whether any slides you made need to be washed or placed in special waste containers. Do not place glass slides in the classroom rubbish bin, even if they are broken.